Meanwhile, back in the city... By the dawn early night, what so proudly we hail that the twilight's last gleaming through broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night. Over the great hearts we watch, we're so down the street, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, and through, through the night. Our flag is still there. Today, does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free? And the hope of the brave. Enjoy an little interesting variation on the Star Spangled Banner. Over six days, uh, six decades rather, of United States presidents. Welcome to our service this morning. Glad that you are here. We do have many people from out of town, and we are glad that you folks have come. And, and uh, some are visiting family, and uh, most uh, of that's going on. But thank you for being here this morning. Uh, we're looking forward to having a great day together. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory.
A country was founded on the Father above, a vision with a plan to live, a way of sharing his love. The faith of our forefathers, husbands, brothers, and sons fought to their death until the battle was won. We watched them fight bravely, give their lives to be free for this proud land they loved and for their families. This country was found for the love of God. We structured our existence on the land that they trod. God shielded and blessed us, giving his tender care. He gave us resources with others to share. But man in this false pride had forgotten the day that God blessed and guided this freedom our way. As man turned his back and greed brought our downfall, some wondered if God had deserted us all. God in heaven, forgive us. Bring us back to your home with you as our Father as you sit on your throne. Lead us away in fights of no gain. We can't win a battle unless we fight in your name. You are the victor. You made us all free. You died on a tree. You are the victor. You made us all free. You're the ultimate freedom in Jesus' sweet name. We fall on our knees and we ask your light to shine on the cross of old glory together one more time. It was you who, who led us to battle in the wars that were won with the lives of our husbands, wives, mothers, sisters, fathers, brothers, and sons. This world holds no homage. Not one thing is true, but you are the justice. Our faith rests in you. Let us stand fast for liberty, one nation, under God, the ultimate freedom paid by Jesus' sweet blood. May God bless America. Let's prepare our hearts for the offering. Father, we come to you today on this 4th of July. And Lord, this day means so many things. It represents freedom. It represents our, our liberty. And Father, we, we do celebrate that, that we live in this country where we do have freedom, where we do have liberties. But today, Lord, I ask that we not lose sight of the fact that true freedom is found in you. That you are the one who has set us free from the bondage that we were in. Father, we pray for those today who, who have lost lives, who, who have damaged souls, as a result of war. We pray that you will be with their families, that, that you will be uh, the, the comforter, you will be their strength, that their hope can fall on you. Father, this morning we pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who, who are not feeling well, for, who maybe have physical ailments, Lord, or, or anything else that is just weighing them down, stresses, we just burdens, anything, Lord. We just pray that you will intervene. Father, let us recognize your presence in our lives. Let us recognize that you are there always. Father, sometimes we, we ask you, God, please, please come, please come. Let us recognize that you're already there, that we need to recognize and honor your presence. Father, we thank you for being here with us already this morning. We thank you for sending your spirit. Father, as we prepare our hearts to give back to you, we just ask that you'll remind us that, that this money, these tithes, this offering, it's not, it's not ours. You gave, you gave us 100%, and you're asking, us, you're asking for 10% back. Father, let us count the many blessings that we have. Thank you for shelter. Thank you for food. Thank you for the things that we take for granted every day. Father, as we do give back to you our tithes and offerings, let us give back joyfully. Let us give back thankfully, thanking you for blessing us so richly. In Jesus' name, 